Uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I solve this problem. The problem is as follows. As you can see, I've got these numbers in this column here, and I want to sum them. So I put my formula here. There we go. Sum, and it should just sum it. And as you can see, it is not providing me with a sum. Even though the formula is correct, it doesn't provide me with a sum. I click here, you can see that the format says general. So yes, I can convert this to number. There it's number, the decimal place is two, and I say okay, and it still does not allow me to sum it. Now, what you'll notice is the full stop is used as the comma. So what has happened here is Excel is not processing this because that full stop is not being processed as a comma. As you can see, when I turn it into a comma, suddenly now it is working. So what has happened is, in terms of the way I've set up Excel, I use the comma as the point, the decimal point. And unfortunately, when I converted this document, I downloaded it from another source, they were using the full stop. So what I can do is I can now go and select the entire column. And now what I do is I say data, text to columns, and then I say fixed width. It says convert text to columns wizard because it thinks this is text, and that is why it is not processing the sum. I say fixed width, I say next, next, and then over here it says general converts numeric values to numbers, data, okay, I say advanced, now it says settings used to recognize numeric data. Decimal separator, now at the moment it's looking for a comma as the decimal separator, so I'm going to put it to the full stop so that it can process all this data all these numbers as numbers instead of text. So when I say finish, look at that. Now it is processing it. And then it has put the comma as it's supposed to be in terms of the way I've set up my region and so forth as the comma. Now in your case, it might be the reverse. So that means in your case, you might be doing this in a little bit different. You would be going advanced and you'd be telling it, no, the full stop is the decibel separator rather than the comma. All right, so that is how I solve this problem. And if you would like your decimal separator to be a point or a comma, you want to change it, you just go, you can change it in the system settings or you can change it here, file, options, advanced, and here it says use system separators, that'll be the default for your operating system, or you could change this to the comma. All right, thanks for watching, cheers.